adding a command palette is pretty easy in the react application using the react command palette to begin with let's go ahead and explore a simple application inside the visual studio code so i have a package.json file and you can see that the react version that we are using at this point of time is 18.2.0 and i also pre-installed the library react command palette you can see those instructions on the github page itself let me just scroll down and you can see that the npm install command is specified with the double hyphen save argument and the name of the library is react hyphen command hyphen palette if you just scroll down you will see the additional instructions to bootstrap the component inside your react application the very first statement is to copy this import statement from this documentation and we'll go back to our app.js we'll put it over here so it does a default import from the react command palette package the next thing is defining the set of commands so when you display the command palette and the list of commands will be actually fetched using these commands variable so i'll just copy this as is let me just remove this triple dots and i will also add few more options so let's say name we need to assign a value to it and we'll specify the name as open file command this is the function that will be invoked when the open file is selected let's go ahead and define some statement inside this command so i'm going to make use of the alert and i'll say that you clicked foo and inside bar i'm also going to add the alert statement again i'll say bar is working fine made a mistake let me just correct that open file doesn't work a little bit of excitement over there we just save that now the next thing is to actually define this command palette inside our application so i'll use this particular tag go back to the div i'll paste it over here you can see that the commands variable is being referred let's go ahead and save the application and see what happens so i'll save it i'll go back to the chrome so in my terminal i already started the npm start command and that's why the application is getting compiled in the background all right we'll go back to the chrome application we'll see that there is a button which is getting displayed with a shortcut key this resembles close to the mac shortcut keys i'll click on this particular command palette button and it will show me the default command palette that is being rendered so we have three options the way we are defined inside the visual studio code so we have foo we have bar and we have open file and the same thing is getting displayed over here and if i start typing the list will get filtered that's the magic let's select that it shows our alert statement but there is one thing which is quite annoying the command palette just remains within the application what if you want to close the command palette after the option has been selected let's go ahead and see if the documentation specifies any properties or not so we'll just scroll down and you'll see that there is an option called let's close on select let's go ahead and use that at least the name resembles to what we just want to achieve so i'll say close on select is equal to true i'll save that go back to the application and let me refresh it i'll click on the command palette again i'll type file we see our usual alert i'll click ok and the command palette goes away now that is fantastic this looks nice let's go back to the documentation and see if there is any other additional properties that we can make use of all right so we are seeing that there is a property called as reset input on open now this is an interesting property let me just show you what we want to achieve using that so we'll go back to the chrome browser and if i click on this command palette you'll see that the option that we selected earlier is still there the list is not getting refreshed if i have to see the list of commands again i need to remove this particular text and then only the options are available so whatever the last command that was executed it will be retained or remembered by the command palette what if we want to override this particular behavior and that is where the reset input on open comes handy i'll go back to the visual studio code and i will define this property reset input on open i'll set the value to true by default it is false and this time if i refresh it i'll click on the command palette 
I'll select power. Power is working fine. I'll click the command palette again, and this time we'll see all the three options are available, and the input box is empty. So that's a very fantastic and a very handy property that we just saw. Now there is one more thing. The default appearance of this particular command palette, you know, it is rendering a button. What if we don't want a button but a simple text? Let's go ahead and see if we can see any additional options. And if I just scroll down after these events and commands, there is an option called adds trigger. Okay, so based upon the definition, it says that a string or a React component, the open the command palette when clicked. If a custom trigger is not set, then by default a button will be used, and that's what we have seen just now. Let's go ahead and define this particular property. So I'll say trigger and I'm going to set a bold text inside this. I'll say click here. I'll save the contents and if I go back to the Chrome browser, you can see that the command palette button is now replaced with a simple text. And if I click on this, it will open up the command palette. Now this is looking fantastic, but not every time the user will click on this particular text or a button. They may want to use some shortcut keys. Is there any provision for those shortcut keys? Yes, there is an option available. So if I just scroll up a little bit, you'll see that there is a property called as hotkeys. It defaults to the command shift P. Let's try to override this particular property. So I'll go back to the Visual Studio code and define this property hotkeys. I'll also create a variable with the same name. So I'll copy this. And on top of this, on line number four, I will define this variable constant of hotkeys. I'll assign a forward slash as a value. Let me save the content. And if I go back to the Chrome browser, now you're gonna see on my keyboard that I'm pressing the forward key, but it will actually respond to that. I just pressed it and the command palette is available. So this is very fantastic feature of the command palette. It gives us a shortcut key. It gives us an option to reset the input. It gives us an option to define the default display for triggering this particular command palette. Are there any additional properties? Yes, there are. There are a lot of options that can be used in order to customize the appearance. You can also add a documentation on top of the command bar. You can define the themes. You can capture various events inside this command palette, but that will be done in a different video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it helped you to learn something new in Riyadh. We'll see you soon in the next video. Till then, take care and build something.